Today, we're gonna make awesome Twitch follower graphics. Kind of like that. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So like you saw in the intro, we're gonna be taking a look at an awesome Twitch follower graphic. It's very similar to the one that I use on my videos. Ever since I started showing that graphic, people have been asking down in the comments and on Twitter if I can make a template for this graphic. So we are doing that down in the description. You can download a template for After Effects, and then there's also a Photoshop file if you wanna dive really deep into customizing this. But there's an After Effects project that you can download. You can open it up. You can change the text, the profile picture, the button, change any colors, whatever you want to make it look however you want. And you can just change a couple words and then you've got a Twitch subscriber graphic. And if you want to just change a couple colors on this, then you've got a YouTube subscriber graphic. So you can dive into this, change the colors, change the word of the buttons and just make it whatever you want. You can have follows, likes, uh, subscribers, anything, any colors, any platform, whatever you want. Let's jump inside the template and take a look at how to change all this stuff. But before we get into it, I just wanted to say that I do try to stream every Sunday and Tuesday over on twitch.tv forward slash Bravity. So make sure you're dropping a follow. Once again, there's that, uh, there's that template we're gonna be making right now. So let's go ahead and jump into the template and take a look. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Photoshop because rather than just showing you the actual template that I'm providing, I kind of want to show you guys my workflow of how I ended up creating this graphic. So it started inside of Photoshop as you do with most graphics when you're creating it. And all it is is just a gray rectangle. And then we've got the uh, rounded rectangle for a button. And I've actually created two rounded rectangles. You need one that's the uh, pre-clicked button and then one that's the post-clicked button. It's just duplicated and the color is changed. And then you've just got the follower text on here. That's just a placeholder because we're going to change the text in After Effects. And then We've got my name, once again, just a placeholder so we can change the name in After Effects, and then a circle just to kind of fill in for where my profile picture is gonna be. That's also inside of After Effects. So this is all the Photoshop file is. If you wanna jump in here and change something, you can, but mostly what you change in here is stuff that you can also do inside of the After Effects template, but that's what it looks like in Photoshop. So I just exported this out as a Photoshop document, and then we brought it into After Effects. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual template. So here we are inside of After Effects, and this is what the template is gonna look like when you open it up from down in the description. You've got your comps and your assets up here. You can just ignore these. All you see down here is you've got three compositions. You've got Final Render, you've got Text slash Color Edit, and you've got Profile Picture. So Final Render, this is the animation that's completely done. This is what you're going to export. It's on an alpha background, as you can see right here. So you can put it over your footage, put it over your stream, whatever you want. So then if you jump into the Text and Color Edit, you'll see we've got it unanimated here. All we've got that's animated is the button click just like that and here you can change whatever you want let's say you want to change this to Dabucha playing with Dabucha on Fortnite all the time we'll make him one there we go we got Dabucha and then let's say we want it to be a follower graphic so you'll see down here we've got the subscribe and subscribed so subscribe we're going to change this one to follow and everything should stay in the middle and stay um, equally distanced from each other however you want to type things so we've got follow just like that we go ahead and scrub forward to when the animation happens and it changes to subscribe we're going to change this to following just like that and you can make that say like liked follow following subscribe subscribed whatever you want so now we've just got follow and then following switches to it just like that and let's say we want it to be like a twitter thing let's say we don't want it to be um we don't want it to be Twitch colors. So let's go ahead and color button right here. We've got color button, we've got press button. Press button, I would recommend leaving the same. This light gray is kind of like what a button looks like when it's pressed. But the uh, color here, let's change this to be more of like a Twitter blue. So when you go to color button, you just want to go to the effects controls for color button. And you'll see we've got a fill control here. So we can just change this to be like a, a nice Twitter color just like that. So that looks kind of like a Twitter button, just like that. But the gray rectangle in the background is kind of a Twitch thing. Twitter doesn't really have this gray look to it. It's got a uh, more of a white look. So the rectangle down here is going to be our rectangle in the background. And we can click on that and go up to the uh, effects controls as well. We've got fill again, and we can actually change this gray to be more of a white, just like that. Now, if we go back to our final render, you'll see that we've got this looking pretty good. But now I'm noticing that the Debucha probably needs to be a black color so you can click on Debucha and you can change this just like any other text layer inside of After Effects so we're going to select it head over here and we're just going to change it to be like a dark gray just like that now if we head back into final render as you can see we've got Debucha 
and we've got follow and then following. Looks like a nice Twitter uh, Twitter profile to follow just like that. And if you wanted to change the profile picture, you just head over here into the profile picture comp and you see we've got just this big square place to place your profile picture. You can delete mine if you want and then uh, put in your own. Just make sure you scale it to fit inside of this rectangle just perfectly. And then when you jump back into another comp, it's gonna automatically crop it into the circle like it does for most social medias. So I don't have to butcher's profile pic, but I would put his here if that existed. Let's go ahead and now change this back to Bravity, <clears throat> just like this, Bravity M, and then let's change this to Subscribe, or this one would be Subscribed, this is after it's been clicked, now we'll go back here, we'll change this one to Subscribe, and let's change the color button maybe to like a nice YouTube red, just kind of like that, and then we can leave the white in the background just like YouTube has it, go to Final Render, and look at that, now we've got an awesome looking YouTube graphic, and subscribed. So you can have it be YouTube, you can have it be Twitch, you can have it be Mixer, just change the color of the buttons and the color of the background to be whatever you want. But that's pretty much it inside of this template. Once you've jumped in and changed your rectangle, your color button, you can change the button pressed if you want, you can change the name, the subscribe, subscribed. You go into the profile picture, pop yours in here so that it uh, crops it into the circle for you. Once you're done, you just want to make sure that you are on the final render tab where this animation is happening just like this, where it jumps in and then the button clicks, and then after about four and a half seconds, it comes out, and you'll see we've got the in and out point set for you, so all you need to do is then make sure you're selected in the comp down here, and go up to composition, add to render queue, once you're in the render queue, you want to head down here to the output module where it says lossless in blue. You just want to click on that lossless and change the format from AVI to QuickTime. You can do AVI if you want, but QuickTime is a much smaller and more manageable file size than AVI. So I like QuickTime. And then where it says channels, you want to make sure you change this from RGB to RGB plus alpha. Because this is a graphic that needs to go over your footage or over your stream, you need to have that transparent alpha background, not a black background like you see here. So changing it from RGB to RGB plus alpha will give you that transparent alpha background then just hit OK and then right here where it says output to final render in all caps you just want to click on that final render in blue and that's where you can name it whatever you want save it wherever you want and then you just want to hit render and boom your file will just render out and you can put it wherever you want all right guys that is it for this video i hope you enjoy it and i hope you enjoy the template and download it and i can't wait to see what you guys do to customize it whether you do twitch follower graphics twitch subscriber graphics youtube subscriber graphics tw uh, twitter follower graphics anything you want i love super clean graphics just like this that's why i use one similar on my videos as well but once again i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to jump over to twitch and try to give me a follow there and maybe catch a live stream if you want to i try to stream every sunday and tuesday over on twitch but that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Hey guys, what's up? It's Brav. Hey guys, what's up? It's Gravity. What's up? <clears throat> hey guys, what's up? It's Gravity. Hey guys, what's up? It's Gravity. And what? <clears throat> Why can't I do my intro? I can't do my intro. Right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Brav. Hey guys, what's up? It's Gravity. Hey guys, what's up? It's Brav. <clears throat>